what's up guys I just have something I want to show you guys here uh, here is my old evolved motor um, in case maybe you didn't see one of the older videos here here's what happened the mount the truck the motor mount on the truck came loose so this was wobbly this harness goes into that hole there right and so this pushed into that hole make sure I left this so I can open it I guess not and the wires on the end of this harness head rubbed on the moving parts in here you can see the spins so if you see right in there see how that spins well the head of this rubbed on the moving parts ruined the motor plain and simple ruined the motor um, I had like wires hanging out of the motor I'm like what the heck is that Evolve said it wasn't covered under warranty but my motor mount was loose as well and listen I was honest with them when I told them I told them exactly what happened you know it does pay off to be honest it really does even though it ended up costing me money to replace this motor it does pay off to be honest guys so anyway I'm always in the infinite search for more information about electric skateboards and something I'm gonna be doing is building one so I figured what I would do is maybe start picking up some parts, um, throwing some mock-ups together. You know, I just want to build a skateboard. That's all. I'm starting to learn more and more about the electronics behind them, and I'm pretty sure I can get this done. Um, I'm not putting a huge whole amount of thought into it. Like, um, this is an outrunner motor. And I'll probably end up building both types, a uh, hub motor type and an outrunner motor. But first, I think this is what I'm going to build. I was able to find a manufacturer. Now, here's what the Evolve motor comes in. When you get it from Evolve, it comes in this nice little white box. All right. And I labeled it. I put that on there. Now, on the internet, I found in this nice little white box that looks very similar to this nice little white box, I was able to find a very similar motor. The only difference I can find is that this cable is a little bit longer than that one. When I weighed them, that was 497 grams. This was like 504 grams, but this cable's longer. So, so far everything I'm saying is pretty much the same. It's a 5065 style motor, just like Evolve uses on their GT board. Um, it's got the same, same setup here. It's got the same plugs, and not only does it have the same plugs, it has the same color coding as those plugs. Um, this is a 140 kV motor. I did have options. Uh, I know there's a it, there's at least a 200 kV motor that I, I could have purchased. I opted to go with the 140 kV and there's several reasons why. I guess when I go to build the board I'll go over all that. It's just not something I wanted to get into today. But the 140 kV is what I decided to pick up. Um, how much did this cost? Okay, where did I get this at? I got this on banggood.com. Now, banggood can be a crapshoot because it's kind of like an eBay where people sell an item or companies through, like they're the broker. So, like I said, it really can be a crapshoot. You don't know what you're getting sometimes. It's not always the easiest to deal with. I do use Banggood because I have some trusted sellers on there. I've used them in the past. I'm a VIP buyer. So I get a, I get a nice chunk of change off plus uh, my little discount points I use. So it was $80 for two motors shipped to my house via DHL very quickly, like a week. Um, this motor was 200 and 210 I think. 
and they overnighted it to me because I waited a week and then it hadn't shipped yet. And I emailed them like, where's my motor? And they're like, oh my God, we forgot. So there it is. That's it. That's all I had to share. I'm not putting anything together. I just want to show you guys. Leave your comments.